Hey there, YouTube. Bed Bath and Bonds here. How's everybody doing? Thank you so much for joining me. Um, today I'm going to be covering quite a few stories. Uh, the first one is going to be kind of a fun one. It has to do with um, YouTube, a particular channel run by a Rushdon Abdullah. Or Abdallah, I'm sorry. Rushdon Abdallah, who is a well known YouTuber, um, car racing enthusiast. And uh, people have been wondering what's going on because his channel has went dormant for the past like month or so. And I guess there was a big investigation into illegal street racing in Southern California. And uh, Mr. Rashton got swept up in that. So him and a few other um, YouTubers who are known to do, you know, illegal street racing are caught up, are caught up in investigation and are in fact facing charges. Both of Rashton's cars have been towed, and he's pretty heartbroken, apparently. He's facing a lot of fines, etc. Damn, Rush, where you been, buddy, missing the videos? I just noticed you ain't uploading three weeks. When are you uploading? When are you coming back, When bro? the vid's coming back? Yo, when are you coming back? When are you coming back? When are you uploading? Upload, please. So are you going to post a video soon? When are you coming back, bro? Well, I guess it's time to break the silence. Why did I stop making YouTube videos and where have I been over the past 90 days? Today, I'm going to tell you all about it. What is up guys, going? Thanks for tuning in to another video. It's Boy Rush back at it again. Today, I'm finally back to give you guys an update. I know I've been gone for a long time. I've been seeing the comments, I've been getting the DMs. Everyone's very curious. A lot of people have questions. And I've been very silent about the whole thing because I just needed time. I needed time to think about what I was going to do and kind of time to evaluate the situation because it's not a good one to be in. So some of you guys have an idea of what happened, some of you don't. I'm gonna go ahead and give you kind of the rundown of what ended up really going down and why your boy stopped making YouTube videos. Um, it wasn't something that I wanted to do. I would never stop like that, especially not for this long. Uh, as you guys know, I love my channel, I love my cars, and I love sharing you know, the videos with you. And uh, to just kind of cut it all off like that is not normal. So um, what ended up happening is one morning, I woke up to a knock on the door and uh, the police were here with a search warrant and pretty much took the cars away. Yes, just like that, they just showed up one morning, knocked on the door, pretty much towed both the cars away. Whipple Mustang, side view, as you can see, my garage is empty. Well, it's a little different. I've been kind of getting into new stuff while I was off, you know, for this long. As you can see, I got into fitness. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, I've been kind of working out quite I do kind of feel for him a little bit because I have made some risque content myself. Um, I made a, a review on some medicinal call it medicinal medicinal magic mushrooms and um, no feds stomped my door down you know so um, sorry buddy that is sort of the nature of the government though this is courtesy of Herald Mail Media YouTube youtubers charged with illegal street racing conspiracy in Southern California Rushdon Abdallah's videos on YouTube have been viewed by millions and offer an up-close glimpse of car culture in Southern California. Getting caught in the middle of a police chase, sampling new vehicle models and street racing with other drivers as a camera rolls. But in December, Abdallah's page with more than 220,000 subs abruptly went dormant. After weeks without new videos, Abdallah said he had to make an update and revealed what was going on. Police had recently arrived at his Lake Forest residence with a search warrant. They just showed up one morning, knocked on the door, and towed both cars away, Abdallah said. Two fellow YouTubers have also had their homes raided by police. I'm in tears. I haven't had my cars for over 100 days, and it's insane to think about. I love my channel, I love my cars, and I love sharing the videos with you. It uh, was a criminal investigation done by Irvine Police Department, arrested the 26-year-old Rashton and four others with a conspiracy to participate in illegal street races. Prosecutors say the men have held races through Irvine, Tustin, Lake Forest, and Foothill Ranch, predominantly on the 241 and 261 toll rates, racing at speeds of up to 160 miles per hour. This is from Todd Spitzer, Orange County District Attorney. No one driving on our road should suddenly find themselves in the middle of what equates to a NASCAR race, 
being raced by amateurs who are not trained or skilled enough to drive vehicles being pushed to their mechanical limits. Street racing is irresponsible, it's dangerous, and it shows a complete disregard for the lives of everyone, including the participants, the spectators, and the innocent bystanders. And as cool as this Fast and Furious uh, bullshit is, I have to agree with the prosecutor. You know how many people get killed every year because of shenanigans like this? See how Rush Dunn loves his cars and how much he loves racing when he fucking runs over a deaf kid. But we're gonna go ahead and smoke a little bit. A little smoking. Probably take a dab too. Oh! <laughs> 